Do you use a PTFE tube as a reverse Bowden arrangement to guide filament into your runout sensor and extruder? Have trouble with it flopping around? Well, let me show you a little piece I designed that might just help hold that tube and guide the filament. All right, so here is a filament guide, actually two slightly different versions of the same thing that I uh, came up with here. And this one is made to slip onto the extruder here um, for the, uh, well, the filament runout sensor going into the extruder here. Um, and the reason I did this is I've got my dryer box down here on the side of the printer. And I want to have uh, a uh, PTFE tube guide uh, that as it kind of goes up and down. So um, did not like it just sitting there flapping with nothing to support it. I had some uh, really um, flimsy, flexible kind of filament that uh, would just be putting too much stress on there and scraping and all of that. So what I've decided is I wanted something to hold the... Uh, tube here and guide that in at least and so again this one just slips on there without um, having to do anything this is sort of a full cover but in order to get around the uh, lead screw back here actually I have to take the screws off here of the the uh, filament uh, runout sensor and be able to put that on so that's what I'm gonna going to use but I just wanted to sort of demonstrate that this one um, kind of has this cut out here so that it can uh, slip around the uh, and have enough room to get with the uh, with that lead screw there this one you just can't kind of get that in there with that uh, screw there I mean unless you take it out but just easier to take those out so um, has uh, proper dimensions here for a PTFE tube allows the filament to uh, go right on in there obviously out the back and uh, fits pretty pretty snugly there and uh, holds on really well now the uh, why did i do this okay so two different reasons um, one is i extended this out and it's not flat but i want to be able to do this without support so i'm printing it this way and uh, so this way i didn't need any supports so a little bit of extra material so that's the odd sort of shape there and I just liked having this uh, cut out here to kind of give me a window of what the tube is doing because I can actually see retractions happening. So uh, that's also part of the reason I did not put a, uh, a uh, like a fitting on here to to rigidly uh, hold the, the tube in there is, is I just want to let it have a little bit of play here to uh, not put any uh, back pressure here when doing retractions and I can see that happen because sometimes I've had some clogs and you can just see that the filament's not going actually back in um, feeding the you know if it sticks back here so to me I like having that little window there now there is a downside there of this will you can hear the tapping but you will sort of hear that tapping but to me that's I've just accepted it and uh, gotten used to okay that's actually a good sound is when it's doing that it's retracting and coming back uh, going and doing its thing so that is um, what I came up with uh, pretty simple but to me pretty helpful so hope it uh, helps you out let me know what you think post to make something like that love to love to see if it is useful take care happy printing